Good morning, North Coast, and welcome back to our midweek edition of GMNC. I'm Lindy Zulu, and I'll be your anchor on this morning's show. First on our lineup, we'll be bringing you the very important weather and surf report. Good morning and welcome to your weather for today. Today we have sunshine with a high of 25 degrees and a low of 16 degrees. The real fill will be 27 degrees and the real fill shade 25. We have a north north easterly wind at 11 kilometers per hour and wind gusts at 33 kilometers per hour. Also 1% chance of showers today. The sunrise will be at 6.25 a.m. and the sunset at 5.19 p.m. Pretoria partly sunny and nice with a high of 24 degrees and a low of 12 degrees. Joburg nice with sunshine mixing with some clouds with a high of 23 degrees and a low of 10 degrees. And Cape Town, nice with sunshine and patchy clouds with a high of 21 degrees and a low of 13 degrees. Next up will be your surf report. Good morning, Belito, and welcome to the most perfect weather in the world it's um may and it's light offshore breezes every morning followed by uh easterly breezes around 11 o'clock during the day so balmy great surf in the morning and then turning into light onshore in the afternoon beautiful time to be on the east coast of africa and beautiful time to be on the beaches uh, beaches have cleaned up nicely the ocean has gone quite blue again so all those brown patches have disappeared and the waves are firing it's a solid four foot at most of the beaches main beach and bog looking really really good this morning uh, i can highly recommend you get out there as the tide goes out um, low tide is around midday today so as the morning progresses it should get better and better enjoy your day hope you get some barrels Welcome back. I'm sitting with Claudia Greenwood. Claudia, welcome. So lovely to see you this morning. Thanks, Lindy. Lovely to be here again. Awesome. So what do you have for us today? Lindy, today we're going to talk about um, recovering from failure. Okay. It's a topic that's been coming up so often um, with mm. people experiencing all sorts of different things. And, yeah. you know, Lindy, I'm sure you can relate. We all experience failure at some stage. Yeah. Sometimes mm. it's relationships, sometimes it's our career, studies, whatever. Sure. Maybe just like didn't achieve a goal that we'd set out. And yeah. we, we like tend to beat ourselves up like terribly. Mm. Um, the first thing I want to share is you're not the failure. 100%. So if something goes wrong, it's not you that's the failure. Yeah. It's the action that is, is the part that we need to focus on. Okay. So I did something that, you know, I should do something differently. What mm. part of the whatever we were doing where it went wrong do I need to correct? Okay. So don't own I am a failure. Mm. It's what I did failed. 100%. Okay. okay. So already we're taking it, we're not personalizing the failure. Yeah. We're not creating that persona that I'm not good enough, I'm a failure. We've got to change that narrative. Rather say, what can I do differently? Mm. Okay, so it's shifting the mind and the focus from what ha went wrong to what can I actually do about this and taking responsibility for our actions yeah. rather than saying, it's me, yeah. there's something yeah. wrong with me. Because yeah. as soon yeah. as we say that to ourselves, what we're creating in our mind is that narrative of, I'm the problem. Mm. Okay, yeah. we, it's not you that's the problem, it's what we did or yeah. didn't do. And it's so difficult to get out of that when you start internalizing it and, and, and it's almost like self-sabotage or self, you know, negative self-talk. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Because what we do is we build onto that. Yeah. So if we say, I'm a failure, I can't do this, this has happened again, and, and then this whole thing spirals. Yeah. yeah. But what we should actually be doing to recover from this failure is say, okay, first of all, I'm not a failure. Yeah. It's what happened that was wrong. Yeah identify what I can do to change that to move me forward sure and let's rather see the failure as an opportunity to succeed because yeah. if something's gone wrong that teaches us lessons surely yeah, and definitely. if we look at the lesson in what's happened 
we can then say, all right, now I know where to go next. Mm -hmm. So failure is actually the beginning of success, if we can yeah, look at it that way. Definitely. And, yeah. and that also just gets a person's mindset shifted and we start looking for solutions rather than putting up those barriers. You know, you spoke about mm -hmm. self-sabotaging yeah. thoughts. Those are barriers. We're literally putting up all these barriers around ourselves. Mm. So when, when we want to recover from failure, don't personalize it. Okay. It's something that needs to be changed and it's the start of something new. Mm. And let's rather look at, look at it from the point of view is that I have an opportunity to actually do better yeah. now. Yeah. You spoke about accountability or taking responsibility. Yes. Elaborate on that. How do you take responsibility when you're in a deep, dark space and yes. you're feeling negative but you're <laughs> failing? For sure. So, Lindy, you know, that's a brilliant question yeah. because it's so easy to be um, stuck in that victim mindset. Yeah. You know, we, um, if we're blaming some ourselves or others or yes. our circumstances or the world around us, um, we, we're the victim. Okay. True. We sometimes um, try and justify things. Mm. And um, when we justify, we are also the victim. True. So, taking accountability and responsibility, saying, what can I do or what part did I play yeah. in the situation that happened. Absolutely. Okay, because mm -hmm. let's use, for example, a relationship between two people. There are two parties here. Okay, it's yes. not all the one person. So it's not to say, you know, um, I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, mm -hmm. um, so I'm not the victim. You can't just choose that. But you can say, what part did I play in this um, particular instance, yes. that, however the outcome, you know, ended yes. up? Yes and say, what do I need to do differently? So it's take responsibility for what's in my control mm -hmm. and then actually learn the lesson and then put something in, in place, act. Mm -hmm. Action is where it's gonna get you, 100%, you yeah. know, shifting. Do something yeah. differently. True. You, you know, to repeat the, you know that <laughs> saying, um, it's madness to repeat Insanity. the same thing and expect a, a different, different outcome. Yes, absolutely, um, yeah. Yeah, so really, it's accountability is important, um, but don't stuck in, be mm. stuck in the victim mindset. Because yeah. if you're a victim, how would you feel, Lindy? Sure, I'd feel down, I'd feel, I'd blame everyone, you know, um, yeah. completely horrible, nothing's working, you know. Yes. So, and in that space, yeah. how do you feel energetically? Very low. Very low. Very low. And if you think of yourself in a room, do you see yourself standing up in the center or where do you see yourself? In the back. <laughs> in the back and small. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we need to shift yeah, that. Yeah. And that's where to recover from failure, when we actually uplift ourselves and say, hey, you know what? I know what I can do differently mm -hmm. and that's what I'm going to do. And what are some of the daily things that they can, people can do besides um, positive talking and affirmation? Anything else that they can do when they feel that they're getting stuck or they, they you know, um, getting back into that old habit? What? tangible things can they do okay so um there are two things that i want to share here okay one is catch yourself in your thoughts okay so think about what you're thinking about <laughs> and often that's where we pick up our, our negative mental chatter yeah and we need to change that okay all right okay. so if for example i'm saying to myself um i failed again i'm a failure mm. switch that and actually think to yourself what i have done right so i can change i am going to change and I am going to succeed. Mm -hmm. Can you see how the, you shift your mind? Positive. Yes. Yes. The other thing is focus on your strengths. So get a journal out and start journaling. Mm -hmm. What am I grateful for about the strengths that I do have? You okay. Know, I have the ability to change. I have a positive outlook. I am going to look for solutions. I am going to do better. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Those kinds of things, it's really shifting from a negative mindset to positive, positive thinking and will get you very far I love doing it. that. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Clada. That was absolutely amazing and very inspirational. I think we need to be aware of what we're saying to ourselves and I think people at, at home can start implementing some of your um, um, uh, steps in, t in terms of failing and, and stepping forward and moving forward and finding a positive way to, to move forward. After the break, we're going to be talking to Neville from Nlondlo Reptile Park.
Welcome back. I'm sitting with Neville from Lonlo Reptile Park. Neville, welcome back. It's lovely to see you again and to have you with us this morning. Um, so let's talk about um, what's been happening since the floods and where the developments are leading to and what are, what's happening in your, in your space. Yeah, it's a very interesting period. Um, just like us humans are taking a long time to recover from the devastation that's happened. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be in the animal kingdom. Yeah. Now, okay. we've, we've got excuses. We've got budgets that need to be cleared and all sorts of stuff. And um, the animals are pretty much in the same boat. Yeah. Only they've got another, of, uh, another hindrance, uh, another obstacle okay. in their way. And that is that temperatures have dropped considerably since the flooding. Sure. Yeah. So you see that there's a real onslaught by winter. Yeah. And this is going to prolong things because these animals not only have lost their homes, mm -hmm. they still need to gather that, that fat and yes. that condition yes. to see them through winter. a winter period. Yes. And so um, life's not easy for them. Yeah. Not only have they been displaced, their food source has been displaced. Sure. And so it's quite a mess. It's a mess, yeah. Yeah. And so uh, I think for the next good couple of weeks, we're going to see a very heightened stage of activity. Okay. Where um, it, it's a bit like hearing there's going to be another COVID shutdown and everybody's running around buying toilet paper yes. and, and, and baked beans and all sorts of stuff. All the essentials. You know, all mm -hmm. the essentials and, and where do I store it and what do I do with it and how do yeah. I package it and where's yeah. the cheapest prices and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. And so. The snake food's going to be doing that. Okay. And so is the snake's going to be doing that. Okay. And then to throw another yeah. spanner in the works is that the male mambas are already going into that stage of pushing each other around and okay. asking who's the biggest boy on the block. Okay. But everybody doesn't have a block anymore. Okay, yeah. Because it's been disturbed. It's been disturbed by the floods. And so um, it's quite an interesting period of time that yeah. faces us right now. And what can we do for our, in terms of being mindful um, as humans? What can we do on our side? Well, you know, like I've stated many times, mm -hmm. there are animals that we can live with. Yes. And there are animals that we cannot live with or shouldn't live with. We yeah. can, yeah. but we shouldn't. And um, at the end of the day, we need to be able to discern who is it that we can live with, yes. be absolutely tolerant, you know, it's like that taxi driver that just pushes in front of you on 100%. the road. Just smile and wave. Give him a smile. Wave at him. And move let on. him in. Mm. You know, show a bit of love. Because that's what we're called to do. Yeah. You know, we're called to show a bit of love. And uh, let them find themselves again and get, get re-established and get yeah. going. And the animals that you shouldn't be living with. Okay. Yes. You um, give me a call. Okay. And, and we, we will come in and do what needs to be done. All right. And if you don't know what you should be living with and shouldn't be living with, <laughs> take a photo from a respectable distance. <laughs> send it to me on WhatsApp. Okay. And um, after you sent me a photo and, it, and you desperately need an ID and it's an urgent yeah. situation, phone me. Right, because this phone of mine is now, if I say 70, 80 messages a day, sure. I'm not exaggerating. It's busy. It's, it's busy. busy. Yeah. I do not respond to each one. Yeah. Okay. But if you find me, I will look immediately. Okay. And, and you're able to discern which is more important and which area yeah. to attend to immediately. And then okay. you can see. Okay. You know, if it's harmless, I'm probably going to invite you to just give me space and let him go. But if you are fearful mm -hmm. and you're phobic about it. Yes. For your comfort and possibly for the snake's safety. I'm going to come and take it away and just oh. put him somewhere else. Somewhere safer. Somewhere Excellent. safer, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's interesting. And is there anything else that you want to share um, in terms of what's happening? What's happening? Yeah. Yeah, we had a rather interesting, um, interesting and sad uh, start to the week. We I went with Department of Environmental Affairs and okay. Ism Bello and Yes. And the SAPS from Stanga, and a big hands up to those guys. Uh, geez, they went out of the way to, yeah. to accommodate us and, and to serve us. And uh, we visited a uh, traditional healer. Okay, interesting. Um, that had a python illegally. Sure. Okay. And um, 
Yeah, I was devastated to see the effect that these guys are having on our wildlife. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. You know, just about every protected animal that, that, that deserves protection was lying and dehydrating and, and um, most of it dead carcasses. Yeah. And what corrective measures were done or taken in that? Um, well, you know, it's we, the guy knew we were coming. He knew we were going to be trouble. Sure. I mean, the only route into his place, he had a good kilometre uh, uh, visible spectrum of us coming. And we had to come down this mountain to get there. Sure. And so he slipped away quietly. Mm. Uh, we were able to retrieve the python. Okay. It's currently at the vets. If you're really interested in that show, go and check our Facebook page. Okay. It's on there. Yes. And um, yeah, and then the rest of the stuff was just yeah. too much for us to carry up the hill. Yeah, yeah. So uh, SAPS and, and Isabella were going back. Yeah. Uh, with reinforcements to come sort out the story, but um, you know, it's sad that we we live with this in our day yeah, and age. Yeah, yeah. It's actually devastating. What can the community do? Is there anything that um, we can do to help to raise awareness about uh, these kind of practices? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, there, okay. are, there are helplines, like I've got a, a, a huge community that, that phoned me when there's something like this happening. And so mm -hmm. I set up the, the meetings or, or the okay. uh, whole operation with Ezembello and uh, Department sure. of Environmental Affairs and SAPS. Okay. And we go out and, and we do the recoveries. Very, very difficult situation. I do hope that the community does step up and, and speak up about these uh, instances. Um, and anything else in closing that we can help with on our side? Yes. Yeah. Um, it's been a tough time financially for us. Yes. We don't want money for free. Please come and visit <laughs> us. Get a free education. Love, yeah, and lovely. Well, not a free education. You're going to pay for it. But you're going to help me help some guy in do do with a mamba in his house. Thank you, Neville. Thank you for chatting with us this morning. Let's take a quick break. And after the break, we're going to be chatting to Dominique and Trevor from Lamentown Resort.
Welcome back, guys. I'm sitting here with Dom and Trevor from Lamentown Resort. Guys, welcome to the couch. Hi, Hi. thanks so much, man. Awesome to have you as always. Um, Easter holidays have passed. What's, what's happening at the hotel? What can we look forward to? What can your guests look forward to? You go for it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so obviously we've got a couple of events coming up. Okay. Um, one of the most important ones, Mother's Day. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. Mother's Day important. coming up on uh, the 8th of May, Sunday. We're going to have a lovely uh, Mother's Day lunch buffet, at 260 per person. That's great. Uh, which yeah. is going to consist of oh, a whole bunch of things. I've got some roasts going, a yeah. bit of curry, some mutton curry, desserts. Moms love desserts. Yes. Absolutely. There's a couple of desserts. Oh, you guys must come and join us, man. Yeah. Mm. Lovely, lovely. And anything for the kids as well? There's was always, it just things, purely for moms? always <laughs> things for the kids. There's always things here at Lamentine for the kids. But this one is for moms. It's Mother's Day. Come and join us for the buffet. Lovely. Yeah. Of course, moms only get one day a year. So Absolutely. Let's make them feel special. Then come join us. Yeah. Our beautiful resort. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. So we also have um, International Cocktail Day coming okay. up on the 13th of May. Okay. And we're going to do a buy one, get one free on... Uh, some of our cocktails, um, as that is very popular, obviously being in a resort, by the beach, by the pool, yeah. that's what you want to drink is a cocktail. So yeah. I would advise the locals to also come join, take advantage of this opportunity. And then on the 16th of May, we have Mimosa Day. That's lovely. Um, yeah. yeah, and those who don't know, Mimosa is <laughs> obviously a mix between orange juice and champagne, okay. and Prosecco. And uh, yeah, so we're going to have a breakfast running on the 16th of May, which is pretty much our surface side breakfast, which includes uh, bacon, eggs, beans, tomato. Egg. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's really good, nice, yeah. nice health, healthy breakfast. Uh, yeah. yeah, and obviously with the mimosa, and that will be 95 rand, yeah. That's lovely, Ex mm. absolutely exciting, great value as well. Going with mimosa and going with all the great yeah. events, we have, we're going to be launching a new wine list very soon. And to celebrate the wine list, I'm going to bring out a wine tasting evening on the okay. 25th of May, which is International Wine Day, That's by the way. That's great, okay. So it's a seven-course meal. Um, and it consists of seven different wines. So okay. it's starter, brute champagne, all the way down to your nectar uh, desserts. And I tell you, it's going to be really good. If you guys are interested in coming to join us for our wine tasting, uh, get on top of the website at Lamontan yeah. and book. Definitely. Mm. Spaces it's be will very, be full. Yeah. Very exclusive. Yeah. So. Okay, so yeah. people need to book. So, yes, website. Yes, definitely. Bookings. Only 40 seats available. Okay. Yeah, it will consist of a seven course meal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Way up there. Sounds exciting. Yeah. I can't wait. Oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Thank you for chatting with us today. We look forward to the Mother's Day uh, special coming up. Um, after the break, we're going to be chatting to Fatima, General Manager of La Vita Spa. Hi, I'm Steve Bezadenote, owner, director of Hydropower based in Belito. We're a power products company that specialize in hydraulics, power products, and power tools. We are distributors of quality brands such as HVD hydraulic components, Briggs & Stratton lawnmowers, brush cutters, generators, and Metabo power tools. Our target market is the construction and civils industry, transport and freight, agriculture, and mining industry. So whether you need a hydraulic pump for your tipper truck, a commercial ride-on mower for your estate, a power drill for your construction company, or just a domestic lawnmower for your home. We are a one-stop shop. We offer sales, consumables, repairs, and services on all these products. We're based at 8A Kailami Park, Belito, and also ship goods nationally. You can get in contact with us via various channels, namely WhatsApp, the landline, email, website, Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn.
Welcome back, guys. I'm sitting with Fatima, General Manager of Levita Spa. Fatima, welcome. Thank Lovely you so to much. have you this morning. So Lovely tell us, here. tell us what's happening at Levita Spa. Okay, so um, Levita Spa offers an unprecedented spa experience. Mm -hmm. Guests often um, say that we're synonymous to heaven and heaven on earth. Yeah. When they enter one of our spas, it's the beautiful. Um, spa scents, that the beautiful aromas, staff ready to attend to their every need and it's almost like they're transported where they, they're in this place where there's tranquility and serenity. Yeah. But aside from that I feel um, what makes La Vita Spa unique yeah. are things such as our hours. So we open every single day, seven days a week 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. And this works, it's, it's really ideal because we're in resorts, okay. hotels, golf estates, and many times guests like to go out during the day with their families and um, visit the different areas in the city. And when they come back, it's usually about 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then they wanna have their sunset yeah. package or a massage just before bedtime. Yes. And it's ideal, yeah. even with our locals. So we open to locals in our area wherever there's a La Vita Spa. Okay. And what it, locals work 8 a.m. to um, to 5 p.m. So after that 6, 7, 8, yeah. 9 p.m. even they want to come and have their regular facial before a yeah. big day the next day or they wax and that's what we're open to. Yeah. So that's why we extend our hours that's to fantastic. accommodate that. Fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Um, and what would be your signature treatment, um, your unique signature treatment? Okay, so a signature unique treatment for us at La Vita Spas is definitely the majestic Milanese facial. Okay. So this is an extremely luxurious, anti-aging, results-driven facial. In one, after one treatment, you see immediate results, lifting, firming, and your skin has this instant instant glow okay and with this facial we use the dead sea peel off mask that's a signature fastest seller for us and it's amazing it's it's one of our fastest sellers okay again immediate results with that we tell our therapist you take a, a picture before. of the customer before <laughs> take a picture after and it's 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 wow yeah. immediately brightening firming lifting immediately so there, therefore all around the country we have yeah. guests that purchase this and we career it straight to their doors, okay. three to four jars at a time. So you can use it at home as well? Easy to use at okay. home, once a week. A 500 gram jar only costs 350 grams. So you can imagine how long that would yes, last. Yes, Really an amazing Love product. it. I love the fact that you can see immediate results. That's um, it. Women love to see immediate That's results. That's it. It's, everything is results yeah, driven now. absolutely. Okay, and any Mother's Day specials that you have? <sighs> okay, so amongst many specials, okay. my favorite is the queen of the day special okay. that we're running it's a package Lovely. it's almost like your premium executive package for mum for those empowering mums or mother figures in your life yeah. you want the best of the best so it's a five hour package sure. that includes a full body exfoliation a full body aromatherapy ma mm -hmm. massage which is a head to feet massage mm. uh, with healing oils Mm. A classic deep cleanse facial mm -hmm. for, the, for the face and a treat for both hands and feet. So spa lovely. manicure, spa pedicure yeah. and mom gets to get a meal and a drink with that. That's lovely. That is going for, thank you, that is going for 1,599 Rand, saving you a whopping 1,161 Rand. Absolutely. So really great, really, really great. Mm. But also in saying that, for Mother's Day, like for me for instance, I wouldn't want to take my mom or I want to send my mom with her, with her sister. So for that, we've got another exceptional, sensational special. It's for two. Okay. It's only 799 Rand. Awesome. Yes. And what this includes is welcome drinks on arrival. Okay. A full body aromatherapy massage for mom and her partner, as well as hydro facilities, which include the jacuzzi, steam room, sauna, yeah. all of that. So one hour, 40 minutes of pure bliss for only 799. Yeah. And absolutely lovely. Um, any other special offers or occasions that are coming up that we could uh, perhaps share? Um, okay, there's one of two, but I'm going to start with, so at La Montagne, yes. here in Belito, what we have is sun, a sunbed facility, which okay. is really great. I mean, we're fast approaching winter yes. and people want their summer body, that suntan look still without having to go out in the cold. So um, with that, it's for our locals. We have sessions, so you purchase a package of 10 mm -hmm. for a 20 minute sunbed session, you only pay 50 rands. Okay. And for special occasions, La Vita Spas, we do, we, we do bridal parties, yeah. we mm -hmm. do um, 
proposals. We've done so many proposals right here at La Montagne at the spa. Lovely. We yeah. add on. So we do the whole backdrop. We, we set up the pathway with rose petals. We arrange champagne, strawberries and cream. And all these sort of add-ons can cost anything from 350 to 500 depending on the requirement, depending on yeah. the, the event as well, be it a proposal or a birthday, whatever the surprise is, okay. added on to your package, your couple's massage. And we arrange, we arrange the whole shebang, all of it. Absolutely exciting. I know viewers want to make bookings and they're eager. So where do, who do they call? Who do they um, email? How do we make bookings? Okay. Yeah. So um, for Mother's Day, we, we, all we can do is we can go onto our website, okay. www.levitaspas.com. Um, and everything is available. An online purchase can be done Great. and you send an, an electronic voucher, which, okay. which gets to you in the same day. Yes. Or my WhatsApp number is 83 Seven eight one seven three nine two, and I can be contacted on WhatsApp at any time in the day for a booking. Lovely, Fatima. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Um, I do, in fact. Um, okay. I think over the years, what has become very popular is mobile treatments. Us going out to venues and taking our team fully kitted. Yes. And we've work, worked with groups such as Netsuke, Caesar Water, yes. where we go out to these corporate companies and spoil their staff for their wellness days so we as i said go out fully kitted yeah. to their venue we prepare we do the decor so Lovely. make it look spa like for their staff sets up do their mini foot massages neck and shoulder massages scalp massages just to treat their yeah. staff so that's really really maybe amazing that's something well. our corporates could look into definitely we've already planned one or two netcare um albelito is one of them yeah. that we plan to do a wellness day for and um, Netscape Parklands as well. Lovely, absolutely lovely. Thank you for coming, Fatima. I'm going to be joining you soon um, for that lovely uh, full body massage. Thank you. After the break, we're going to be chatting to Shannon, uh, Miss Belita finalist.
Welcome back. I'm sitting with Shannon, Miss Belita finalist. Hi, Shannon. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, and you? <laughs> Lovely to have you, Shannon. So tell us about yourself. Who's Shannon? Before we get into Miss Belita. <laughs> um, thank you for having me here. Um, I'm 17. Okay. Um, actually staying in Richards Bay. Okay. Decided to enter Miss Belito um, because of the community work and everything that they're involved in. Lovely. And it's like everything I've wanted to do. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so so seventeen, you're still studying, right? In yes. high school, hey. Yes. Okay, so how are you balancing, Miss um, Belita, and your schoolwork? I, honestly, I've been getting this question like a lot. Um, I think it's like um, if you put your time management like right and sets it out, like it it does become more challenging and yeah. like it is challenging in times. But um, if you have your time management and Correct in all times, yeah. Okay, that's lovely. And some of the projects that you've been working on with uh, Ms. Belito? And there's a few that I, I am working on. Okay. Like, a um, few examples is um, my projects are mostly aimed on uh, with working with children. Okay. Um, always had a passion uh, with working with them. Mm. And um, there's this project with working with Down syndrome kids lovely. and mm. just helping them. And uh, there's a community there in Richards Bay. Okay. Because it's such a small town, um, no one's actually like helping yeah. or we don't say helping, but like know about it. So um, once like I open about it and talk about mm. it and put it on a platform, I think most people will like get to know it mm. and more willing to help. To help. Yeah. And how can people help? What type of help are you looking for? Are you looking for sp sponsorships, donations, or just people coming through and, and just spending time with the kids? Um, many like um just knowing what um down syndrome kids yeah. are mm. and like how to help them or not how to help them but like like how to handle them and um mm. sponsorships like would be awesome because yeah. yeah um and like even spending time with them normally they don't get um mm. visits so it'd be nice to uh, for them if people do come through and visit them it's yeah. like it would make the day absolutely yeah. heartwarming too hey some of your highlights for miss belito some of the things that you've enjoyed um some of my highlights are like definitely meeting the new people <laughs> and the girls yeah like they're extremely nice and friendly and more opening like n not knowing each other from any side but just meeting them yeah um another highlight is like um the opportunities that you get from Miss Belito, mm -hmm. like the little things, um, like there's many sponsorships on uh, Miss Belito that other companies are willing to do. So it's really nice, and it's like nice knowing that there are many people around helping yeah. Miss Belito and getting yeah. it. Yeah. I love the sisterhood that you form as well in the pageant. Is, is that also something that you're quite enjoying? I do. Enjoying? Like, I think it's nice knowing that there are people around you and like just definitely meeting them. Yeah. And um, I think uh, we definitely here yeah, for the same thing, but we wouldn't show it out. So like it's just nice knowing that they're all nice to you. <laughs> and yeah, that's lovely. So where to, Shannon? What's next? Um, I'm definitely going to study next year. So okay. um, I'm wanting to work in education. Lovely. As I mentioned, um, I have a passion with kids. Okay. And uh, I would like to make a difference in kids' life, or even like just be an inspiration to them. So, um, yeah, I would like to become a teacher. Lovely. So, yeah. and just inspirating other kids. And Shannon, how do people support you? Please share your Instagram and your Facebook uh, handles. So, on um, I have four accounts, <laughs> two on <laughs> Facebook, two on um, Instagram. So, um, my individual one, but you're more willing like, to follow it, is Shannon Grace Thomas. And then my um, other account is the path of Shannon Grace Thomas. And it's vice versa. So, on Instagram, it's exactly the same name as Facebook so yeah. Wishing you all the best Shannon thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Okay. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> After the break we're going to be chatting to Johan, wine director from Simonsech. Simonsech, a family-owned wine estate in the world-famous Stellenbosch region, has always had a pioneering influence on the wine industry in South Africa. It was here that South Africa's first Method Cup Classic, Cups of Funkel, was made. Method Cup Classic, or MCC, is South Africa's name for champagne, a term coined by a small group of winemakers who founded the Cup Classic Association in 1992. 
with Simonsach Cellemaster Johan Malan as founding chairman. Wine has been made in South Africa since 1659, but it was only after Simonsach's founder, Franz Malan, returned from a visit to Champagne in 1969 that he was inspired to make a Method Champenoise wine. In 1971, he made South Africa's first bottled fermented sparkling wine and christened it Carpse Fonkel, meaning Sparkle of the Cape. Originally, he used Chenin Blanc grapes, and it was only in 1987 that our Carpse Fonkel Brut blend changed to include Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, the classic noble varieties used in Champagne. Our prestigious Cup Classic, the Cuvée Royale Blanc de Blancs, is made using 100% Chardonnay grapes. For our classic Carp Fongo Brut, we use Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. And our Carp Fongo Brut Rosé is made using three Pinot varieties, Pinot Noir, Pinotage and Pinot Meunier. In response to new trends among Cup Classic enthusiasts, our new sweeter styles of MCC are Saturn Nectar and Saturn Nectar Rosé. The influence of the cold Atlantic Ocean and the well-drained decomposed shale soils provide the ideal conditions for growing our Cap Classic grapes, forming well-balanced base wines with perfect structure and a hint of minerality. The grapes are harvested by hand early in the season to retain the subtle fruit notes and delicate character that ensures a fresh base wine with enough fresh acidity. Immediately after picking, the grape bunches are gently pressed whole to ensure only the most delicate juice is extracted from the berries. The first juice to run from the press is known as the cuvee, which represents the cream of the crop. Only the very best cuvées will make its way into our cups of Fonkel. This freshly pressed juice is settled for 12 to 24 hours to clarify, and the clear juice is transferred to stainless steel tanks to begin the first fermentation. Yeasts are added to convert the sugar in the juice into alcohol. During the first fermentation, the temperature is kept constantly cool at 15 degrees centigrade for around 18 to 21 days to maximize the freshness of the fermenting juice. For our Carp Fongel, a portion of the Chardonnay Cuvée is fermented in French oak barrels. This tradition is practiced at top quality houses in Champagne, and here at Simonsach we do so to add a luxurious creaminess to our Cup Classic. After meticulous tastings by our winemakers, the finest base wines are expertly blended and the liqueur de tirage, a mixture of the blended base wine, yeast and sugar, is added to the tank to kickstart the secondary fermentation process before bottling takes place. Each bottle is sealed tightly with a crown cap and the second fermentation can start in the bottle. The yeast converts the sugar into alcohol and the millions of tiny bubbles develop naturally, gathering rich flavors and texture from the thyme on the lees. This is a slow, natural process where the yeast cells autolyze and release flavors and other compounds into the wine, greatly enhancing the quality and complexity. After the required time on the lees, the bottles go through remuage, the riddling process, which settles the yeast sediment into the neck of the bottle in an upside down position. This involves gradual turning and inversion of the bottle, done by hand or by automated gyro pallets, slowly bringing the sediment into the neck of the bottle. When the wine is clear and ready to be disgorged, the neck of each bottle is frozen and the frozen sediment forms an ice plug in the neck of the bottle. The crown caps are then removed and the immense six bars of pressure in the bottle shoots out the frozen sediment, a process called degorgement. A final liqueur de dosage is added to round off the complexity of the cup classic and the wine is corked with a natural champagne cork and a wire cage or muselet is applied to keep the cork safely in the bottle. Each of our Cup Classics have their own distinct style, from refreshing and playful characters to the mature and complex. 
they are able to accompany a diverse range of cuisines. From the finesse of our prestigious Cuvée Royale, the classic sophistication of our original Carpsefongo Brut, and our bright berry fruit, naturally elegant Brut Rosé, to our most recent sweeter additions, the sublime satin nectar, and the romantic colors and fragrant aromas of the satin nectar rosé. All of Simonsak's Cup Classics are destined to add a sense of pure luxury and enjoyment anytime, anywhere. Cup Sifonkel, a name synonymous with Simonsak, paved the way for Method Cup Classic in South Africa, a category that has grown into what is arguably the most vibrant sector of the wine industry today. Carps of Fongo, South Africa's legendary first cup classic. Make every moment memorable. Welcome back. I'm sitting with Johan, wine director from Simensich. Welcome, Johan. It's absolutely exciting to have you on the couch this morning. Thank you very much, Lindy. It's very nice to be here. Yes, lovely. So can you tell us about the rich heritage and history behind Simonsech? Yeah, Simonsech is a, a family-owned business and dates back to my grandfather who first bought the estate in 1942. Okay. Uh, my father was then second generation, mm -hmm. uh, started in 1953, and then we are three brothers, so we wow. were um, the ones that took over from from him uh, in the early 80s. So okay. fortunately now there are also a, a fourth generation involved. Yes. My son is also a, a winemaker like me and yes. my niece is the, the financial manager. So yeah. she's in the accounting side to so make sure that uh, the, uh, the money matters are as good as the wine. Okay, perfect. That's lovely. So what is Simmons best known for? Yeah, I think during the time when, when Simmons started in 1968 and that was when the label or the first mm -hmm. wines were bottled under the Simons of label. Uh, my father was a, a very innovative person okay. with a lot of vision yes. and uh, also loved traveling. So okay. he visited the uh, famous uh, traditional wine countries of Europe, France, Italy, uh, Spain, Germany, yeah. and came back with a lot of new ideas. And one of the, the ideas that uh, he pursued in South Africa was after visiting the Champagne yeah. region in France uh, okay. where they make the traditional method champenoise or the okay. champagne method and he thought why can't I do that sure. in South Africa yes. so um, in 1971 he uh, re he made the first Carps of Funkel now Carps of Funkel means sparkle of the Cape Lovely. because South Africa has got an agreement with France that we're not allowed to to use their regional name so we, okay. we won't put champagne or Chablis or one of those names okay. on the label so he had to come up with a, a name to call He's a very innovative wine, and he called it Carps of Funkel, very mm -hmm. truly South African. And uh, that was in 1971. Mm -hmm. um, during the years, uh, mm -hmm. I also uh, made some changes along the way, changed okay. the, the grape varieties in the blend to, mm -hmm. to be exactly the same as in, in Champagne, uh, meaning Chardonnay, which is a white grape. Mm -hmm. uh, Pinot Noir is a yes. black grape, and Pinot Minier as well. Okay. And uh, so the method we use, the way we make the wine and the grape varieties, very similar to what they do in France. But mm -hmm. I always think that we're not trying to make a copy of, of French Champagne because uh, yeah. we are from South Africa. Yes. We've got We're our unique. own soils, our own climate. Yes. Mm. So one thing that we have in South Africa that's not available in, in Champagne is sunshine. So <laughs> we have uh, a lot of uh, South African sunshine. Yeah. And I think I always believe that you must be able to taste the sunshine mm. in the wine. And that means we get um, ripeness in the grapes mm -hmm. much easier and more consistently Lovely. than what they do in, in Champagne. So our wines tend to be more fruit mm. driven, more uh, fruity in style. And I think that's, a, that's an important mm. uh, distinction between the French version and the South African version. And your award winning um, Champagne? Yeah, um, yeah, so with the, the 50th anniversary, uh, yeah. we wanted to do something that to commemorate this uh, major event. And something that has happened uh, in, in recent years is that there's a whole new generation drinking wine in South yes. Africa. And uh, obviously when, you, when you're new to wine, mm. the, the easiest way to, 
to get to know it better. Firstly, you, you have to find something that you enjoy drinking, that, that you find pleasurable. And although more advanced, more experienced wine drinkers will probably drink something that's really dry or red wines and so on. But for the, the palate that's still finding its yeah. way in, into this uh, vast uh, new um, discovery of wine mm. is something with a little bit of sweetness is, is something yeah. that uh, makes it easier to to appreciate and to enjoy. So we uh, released these two mm -hmm. wines. Um, they are called Satin Nectar and okay. Satin Nectar Rosé. But in South Africa, the, the word nectar in, in, in Cap Classique uh, refers to uh, a style that the French call demi sec, yeah. which means half dry, okay. maybe off dry is a okay. better um, description. And yeah. uh, it, so it's got a little bit of sweetness to it, but um, we, we had this uh, beautiful packaging designed mm -hmm. to, to show something that's uh, a depiction of the um, Cape Floral Kingdom. Yeah. So we have uh, three uh, flowers on in the design, the Strelitzia, mm -hmm. the Cape Star, and of course the, the, the Cape Diza, which is uh, uh, part of the design, which uh, shows mm -hmm. what we, we like to refer to as the um, Africa Rising, because yeah. it's very really bold, it's very really striking, yeah. And it, uh, it, it's something that I think says something about the country of origin. Absolutely. It's beautiful. I love the packaging. It's bright, it's bold, and it says a lot about our heritage. Um, Stellenbosch, you based in Stellenbosch, the most well-loved destination um, area in South Africa. Um, tell us about some of the uh, local sites and, and the things that people can do when they visit Stellenbosch or Simensege. Yes. Um, I think uh, we are so close to Cape Town, only mm. 35 uh, kilometers. We are very close to the sea. I think okay. that has a very important role in, yeah. in terms of climate. Mm. When it comes to wine, it has a very moderating effect on, on the temperatures. Yeah. Um, but Stellenbosch has got the oldest wine route in South Africa, which incidentally was also founded in 1971 by my father, Franz Milan. Okay. The owner of Speer Estate in those days yes. was uh, Mr. Neil Joubert. Okay. And uh, the owner of uh, Delheim Wines was uh, Spat Sperling. And they were the three pioneers that uh, sure. founded the wine route. And uh, I yeah. can tell you, it wasn't that easy uh, to convince people that we're going to open the farms, we're mm -hmm. going to in, um, receive visitors. Mm -hmm. So it was a foreign concept mm -hmm. at the time. But if you see how much it has grown it's it is actually a visionary uh, thing that they did and i don't think they ever imagined that it would become not only a wine route but it's almost uh, a food route as well Lovely. because some of yeah. the the best restaurants in south africa are uh, situated on on some of these wine okay. estates in stellenbosch and that brings the wine and the food together so you can you can come and experience some of the best wines in the country but also some of the best restaurants and mm. and today there are uh, close to uh, 150 180 wine estates in mm. in the in the region that you can come and visit and the okay. diversity and of course the beautiful old cape dutch homes mm. makes it a, a fantastic uh, destination beautiful and what's your favorite if i may ask um in our range we have the the original carps of funkel uh, that's brut, so okay. it means it's dry. We have a, a brut rosé that's uh, slightly pink, and we all know that uh, uh, rosé is a category of wine that's grown in popularity mm -hmm. a lot in the past few years. And then we have the two satin nectars. The one is the white one, and the satin nectar rosé mm -hmm. is pink. Uh, right on the top, like what we call the prestige cuvée, is, yeah. is the wine uh, called the cuvée royale. So it's like the royal cuvée. Okay. And uh, it's, it's a Blanc de Blanc. So Blanc de Blanc means it's made from white grapes. So it's a white wine using white grapes. Um, normally that's a little bit older when it's released. So okay. I'd say for special occasions, yeah. um, I really love that because with time, like red wine, these wines also tend to develop a bit more uh, complexity and depth of flavor. So um, a Cuba Royale will be for yeah. high days and holidays and birthdays. <laughs> Lovely. Um, but any of the other four, I think uh, it depends on the occasion. There's something that I always love to say yeah. about um, 
Kaups of Funkel and, and Cup Classique is that okay. it's so versatile. Uh, it's, it's the only wine we regularly drink with breakfast. Okay. So uh, with your champagne breakfast, uh, with some orange juice or yes. not, that's your decision. And of course, before the meal as an aperitif to, mm -hmm. to wet, wet your appetite. Mm -hmm. And then of course, uh, um, during the meal as well, it's a wine that, that suits many different types of food. And of yeah. course, when it, the clock strikes 12 at the New Year's <laughs> Eve, what else Definitely. do you open? <laughs> you celebrate with a Absolutely. bottle of uh, Carps of Funkel. So mm -hmm. it's a wine for all occasions. Lovely. So where can we get your lovely wines? We are available in, in quite a few of the stores. Uh, if you look at the top stores, uh, there's a really beautiful one here mm -hmm. in, in Hillcrest, okay. Liberty Liquors. We actually make a, a special exclusive uh, Cup Classic for Woolworths, okay. which doesn't contain any sulfur. So okay. quite often Great. people yeah. are, there are people who are sensitive yes. to sulfur in the wine. Yeah. And uh, this one we make without using any sulfur. So mm -hmm. um, the people who are um, not allergic, but they're sensitive to sulfur, mm -hmm. they often say that this one is, is one that they never get a headache or a reaction. So yeah. something to try. It's made from okay. Pinot Noir and uh, really a beautiful wine That's too. That's lovely. Okay. All right. and. Um, all the other stores, normal uh, retail yeah, stores as well? Yeah, other stores as well. Um, okay. We have uh, good distribution okay. um, uh, in, in KwaZulu-Natal mm -hmm. and uh, throughout the rest of South Africa. Mm -hmm. If you really battle, you can also go to our online uh, wine shop and, and order, order it because sometimes people live uh, in, yeah. in remote areas and that's, that's also another way to get hold of the wines. Thank you so much. It was lovely having you. Is there anything else that you want to add or share with our viewers this morning? Yeah, I, I think there's always uh, a saying that the wine always tastes best under the roof it was made. So okay. we always encourage and invite people to come and visit Simonsuk and uh, enjoy the natural beauty of, of the area and uh, come and taste the wine yeah. under the roof it was made. So it's uh, we are open seven days a week, okay. uh, only New Year's Day and Christmas Day and a few others we, we're not open. But you'll find us uh, on on uh, the website, and you can always phone the estate to find out more. We do wine tastings. We do. Uh, okay. f um, it's currently a, a, there was a food pairing, mm -hmm. uh, so there's a lot of things to do. You can do a salad tour as well. So it it uh, it makes good education even for children, yes. because you can have a, an experience mm. of how wine is made. So festivals are coming back. People are dying to get out and, and interact and just. Go get back to the good old fun days. <laughs> Are there any special events coming up later well, in the year? <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm actually up here in Durban like uh, many other winemaker okay. colleagues for the Buxton's Wine Festival. And uh, that's uh, something that we've missed out on the mm. past few, yes. few years. And it's yeah. always been a very popular event. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, winemakers love coming up to Durban because <laughs> it's, it's so much more... Uh, enjoyable than, yes. than other parts of the country where it's just uh, high-rise buildings. Yeah. So if there's something happening in Durban, okay. uh, we're all here. So uh, that, that is something that's yeah. showing that slowly but surely we're returning to normality Normal. mm -hmm. um, later in the year. Mm -hmm. There's also a huge event, uh, international event called Cape Wine 2022, okay. which is from 5 to 7 uh, October. And okay. that's also been... Uh, uh, delayed uh, during COVID and, mm. and I think it's important uh, not only for for local uh, people in the trade but also international people are, are flying out to South Africa so it's a big event uh, the highlight it only happens yeah. every second year so this is going to be um, a really it's important lovely. one just to almost tell people that the industry that uh, has been in lockdown mm. didn't stand still there's yes. always been uh, a lot of mm. progress and, and I think South yeah. African wine at this stage is at a level where we've never been so internationally we're getting a lot more mm -hmm. uh, recognition uh, is in terms of, of the quality that has improved yeah. so much over the years yeah. and uh, so we, it, some of the winemakers even say that South Africa now is the most exciting wine yeah. country in the world so a lot to, to look forward to Okay, and what are the future plans for Simensuch as a brand that has such a rich and, and strong uh, heritage and culture in, the, in, the, in our market? What are the next plans? What are we looking forward to? Um, you know, the, the wine 
business is a very long-term business. Once mm. you plant a vineyard, it will be in the, uh, producing for at least yes. 30 years, yeah. sometimes mm. uh, even longer. Um, this current year, we are focusing um, on our still wines, which means uh, our Chenin Blanc, which we, we've just had our 52nd vintage yeah. going into the bottle. Okay. Um, our Sauvignon Blanc, the red wines, Cabernet Sauvignon, mm -hmm. uh, the Shiraz, the Pinotage. So the still wines are definitely uh, still very much part of our portfolio. And we are uh, going to, to focus a lot on, on that uh, during this year. Um, especially, I think, what uh, Stellenbosch is famous for is uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah. Um, because the variety is, is quite selective in terms of mm -hmm. where it does well. So I always uh, think that Stellenbosch has got all the, the parameters that, that's required to make really world-class Cabernet. And, and that means uh, it's something that we are going to yeah. champion a lot more uh, in the future. Okay. Uh, so C Stellenbosch Cabernet Collective is, a, is an organization we founded to do just that, to, okay. to promote Cabernet from the Stellenbosch region. Okay. So they're also planning certain events, but I don't know the, the details at this stage. Thank you, Johanna. It was lovely having you this morning um, and learning so much about your beautiful brand and, and your lovely wine selections. Thank you to our guests, viewers and sponsors. We're closing off with a music video from Ray Dillon for Inns in Meleva. Solid.